culture, wherever we are from. We bring in that culture, and it is inherited in us, and we wanted to do something good. But when we do that, we always first think about where we came from, and we wanted to help our motherland. Nothing wrong about it, right? Everybody does it, and there are a lot of organizations who really go and give back to the country where they came from. But what I felt was we need to do, we need to give back to this land, which gives me bread and butter every single day, which gives me an opportunity for my kids to grow, and the second generations who are here, they may not really remember where their parents, you know, the generations came from, but we are here. It is our social responsibility that we must give back, especially to this country where we are living. So if, you know, we have a lot of opportunities. There are thousands of nonprofits out there, and uh, there is no, you know, end to go and volunteer. I'm sure every one of you here volunteered. Is there anyone who has not volunteered so far? Don't feel bad about it. We have community seva. You are welcome. We welcome with two hands to do um, to give back. Before I say anything, um, I want to show a clip, a, a video of seven minutes, not more than that, and um, I'll keep quiet till such time. Then we'll talk. I used to work at Apple Incorporated uh, as a software engineer, and then I drove for Uber and Lyft for a couple of years. I became homeless after an illness uh, that uh, put me out of work for a couple of weeks and in the ICU for a week. And in that time, I uh, was unable to cover the next month's rent, and so I, I, I ended up uh, out on the street. Yeah, my last job was on the water for nine years. But we lost our contract, uh, it was for the Washington State Berries, and so by now I'm homeless, so. I'm, uh, I'm a uh, veteran United, United States Navy, uh, 14 years of service, um, Desert Shield, there's a story veteran. My dad worked for Lockheed, you know, he was only 17 years old, my dad. He paid 16 dollars for his home back in, uh, back in the 60s. I think back to my childhood, I don't, I didn't think then that I would be homeless. And I didn't think that I would be. Is it being homeless due to a lot of it has to do with the pricing of homes over here? It's uh, it's unaffordable. People are losing their jobs, and it's just families. The rent over here is just is really too expensive for people to live. Community Sewa is a, a local nonprofit organization formed right here in the Bay Area with a simple mission to feed the hungry and serve the homeless. We live in Silicon Valley, one of the fifth largest economy in the world. And it's hard to believe that homelessness even lives here. Today, in five years, with 1,700 volunteers, we have fed over 75,000 delicious meals. It's hard for me to believe myself. Okay. We support several different type of uh, shelter organizations and one of them is uh, women and children, where our volunteers go every single Sunday to cook, cook and serve delicious hot breakfast. Right now we have like 37, 14 children and the rest are adults. And that number fluctuates. We have new ones of up to 16, 17 year old children. Very recently, one of the mom I came back and uh, came up to us and said, you know, we love Sundays and we love this breakfast and we love you guys. Because for her, that is the only day she get to serve a hot, delicious breakfast to her own child. Community Saver to me, you know, is, is uh, 
something like I said, which has become so much of a passion as part of me. This one element of feeding the homeless and taking care of the poor, and here in our backyard in the Bay Area, that we were missing out on. I think that was the gap that Community Seva came forward and fulfilled, and it's such a proud feeling to be part of that. Man, I thought I'd be seeing uh, about rice and um, uh, vegetables and uh, uh, cod uh, coleslaw. Oh. And some ice cream. The ice cream was cool. <laughs> yeah, that always is. Idea behind having this centralized kitchen will enable us to cook and serve more homeless people because so much of hunger is out in the in the community, and we could serve in one go a 200 additional meals uh, to the homeless people, and this could not have been possible without the support of City of San Jose, the Park and Recreation Team, and few organizations who gave us the grant. Hi, I'm California State Assemblymember Ash Kalra, representing District 27 here in San Jose. It's been an absolute honor to be able to recognize Community Seva as our Nonprofit of the Year 2018. Community Seva is all about the service, 100% volunteer run, and they're serving homeless people in a very loving way. Today, we have 1,700 volunteers. Every single weekend, we have been adding 5, 10 volunteers every single weekend. We have 32 core volunteers who I proudly call them as the pillars of the organization. They stand shoulder to shoulder with me. Rain or shame, they are there every single weekend. You guys' organization is incredible. I, every time you guys come here, you come here with smiles and, you know, and I, I do. I get I get choked up over it because it what means really, really means something to me. You know what I mean? Because you guys take your time and your money and your trouble to come here and do this for us. You know what I mean? And it, yeah, you guys are incredible. I couldn't, I can't say enough, you know, I don't thank you guys enough for what you guys do for us. Uh, thanks for the people helping for homeless. So they bring us food, clothes, and backpacks, a lot of stuff. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You know, I, I just really, I mean, thank you. Thank you to the community saver. Thank you. It just chokes me every time I see this video. I'm sure all of you might be thinking, I know what you would be thinking, how fortunate we are, right? Really, how fortunate we are. And this has not happened anywhere else. It's just in our backyard, in our Silicon Valley, in our downtown San Jose, the James Park. This is where it was shot. And how did we get there here? This is what's shown in our fifth anniversary video. And, um, me and my family, uh, you know, I, we always believe in feeding the hungry. 
uh, even in Indian culture, if any, if any of you know, friends come to our house, we always give them something, tea, coffee, food, snacks, and always. And in Indian culture, feeding the poor or feeding itself is the best charity one can do. And, you know, Indian culture also, we go to the temple and we pray to God and feed people, whoever devotees who are coming there. But for me, more than feeding among ourselves, if we feed the less fortunate, it's more gratifying. So for my birthdays and anniversaries, my kids' um, birthdays, even on a special day, Thanksgiving, uh, you know, Christmas, you name it, me and my family, we used to go to a park. We used to make sandwiches and we used to uh, distribute. And then uh, slowly, uh, the word of mouth friends started coming to know and they wanted to join. So we st I started going every single Sunday to go and buy pizzas, water, banana, and cookie. We used to distribute that on, on you know, like any of your friends' birthdays or your birthdays or on a special day. And recently, in fact, one of my friends called me and said, you know, my daughter got graduated. I want to do something. I want to feed the people. See, there is no one reason you need to, you know, have to, you know, feed someone. So that one, you know, act of kindness, the word spread so much, then it, it wasn't impossible for me to just do it every single weekend by myself. So finally, you know, we started an organization called Community Seva. Today, we have 1,800 volunteers, and we have fed over 90,000 delicious meals, and we give, you know, backpacks, uh, blankets in the winter, especially this year, winter was so bad, we walked around every single um, overnight warming centers, you know, it's frustrates, but that's what city is 40, until unless San Jose's uh, temperature drops to 40, they don't open that. I just cannot take it, but that's what it is. And we go there, uh, hand over blankets so that they can sleep warm. And we give them um, backpacks with a towel, you know, uh, hygiene kits. And uh, that's where we are here right now. And if you see, in this journey, what I really want to give a message, especially to the youth, everyone in this room, everyone in the community wants to do good. The thought is good, but you need to put that thought into action. Just imagine... If me and my family would have just served pizzas and go home on a weekend and on our special day, Community Seva would not have formed. We pulled our friends, family of friends, community. Now it's an organization. So we could be able to serve more people and more of you can also earn some good karma. Right? So please put your action, you know, thoughts into action. And when you do uh, action, Please don't do it alone. Do it as a community. It doesn't matter. Even in this video, you have seen, you know, many, many of them, many friends asked, do you think we should give money to homeless people? Do you think, is he really homeless? You know what? Please, don't be judgmental. Don't be judgmental about anybody. You never know. In this Silicon Valley, four paychecks can put back in that place. And... I have encountered, I mean, I've given only 20 minutes. I can take the whole evening. If I talk about the experiences I have encountered, every single ethnicity, when I tell my friends, even I've seen Indians, Indians too? Why not? A lady comes and asks for two plates to me. We said, sure. No, no, it's not. Both are not for me. My sister is sitting there. I'm, and you, you have seen the video. Kid, you know, mom is... Coming up in the morning at 7 o'clock in the morning to feed the breakfast to their own child. And when we, co when we our volunteers go cook and serve, we care. We serve with dignity and smile. You look at the, all the vegetables, everything is fresh. Everything is fresh. And in Indian culture, most of them, most of them we don't eat meat. But we serve meat. You know why? We want to serve what they like rather than what I am comfortable with. So we, that is the thought we put into actions and we want to answer with a dignity and smile. So we have volunteer opportunity, plenty of volunteer opportunities 
and I request all the youth, please, and we have the, the kitchen you have seen, we have a lot of, every Sunday we, we have the kitchen open. It's only for youth. We have a lot of high school students, they've taken this opportunity already. We do give volunteer hours. We are a U.S. presidential volunteer, certified volunteer organizations. So we do give hours. Please get involved and give back. And there is no good time or bad time. This is the time. If someone has not done any volunteer work, please come up and we can look up at our website and give back. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. I think every time I hear the story,